I'm, uh, my name is Adam Karst. I'm from uh, Israel. I was born in Canada, raised in Israel. I think the, the main way to solve the issue in Israel between the Israelis and the Palestinians are, uh, is um, education. Um, so from childhood, you have to educate the kids that uh, people are equal. Doesn't matter uh, your race, your uh, religion, where you're from. Uh, everybody are equal. And once you uh, teach uh, kids that uh, they shouldn't hate but love, then you eliminate that problem of hate. That's about it. In uh, answer to your question, do I know anything about the uh, Arab Israeli or the Palestinian Israeli uh, situation? Uh, yes, I've followed it over the years. Um, I had great sympathy with the uh, Israelis and the Jews at one time, but now I think they've kind of adopted a, something they learned from their Nazi uh, oppressors. And I think the main reason why nothing is getting done there is because of the interference of uh, U USA foreign policy. Well, I'm... Uh part of the anonymous movement, I guess, and uh, very much involved with the Occupy. But I feel that the Palestinian-Syrian situation is still remains the main uh, cause of all the problems in world peace right now. And particularly our government's involvement in that, in not supplying the kind of energy that we need to provide for a peaceful solution, but instead to um, furthering our usual military-industrial complex way of life uh, that we have in, the, in our country. And uh, the Palestinian state has equal rights with every uh, possible way with the Israeli state, and the Israeli state has every right to a completely peaceful behavior there also, but peaceful is the bottom line, and that's not what we've been encouraging over there. Yeah, so I suppose I think that this, the Israelis have most of the power, so it would be the quickest path to a solution if they were willing to be the most generous. I don't think that the, um, I think they need to give up a little bit of space. Yeah, I think it's a little complicated because you've got two sides that they aren't really listening to each other anymore. And they need to be brought together by some sort of a, you know, a third party, somebody without uh, um, a horse in that race. And, you know, although the United States uh, normally should be that kind of a broker, uh, I feel like it's hard for them to be in that position because we have too many, we have politics on both sides of that. We have oil, and then we have a lot of, you know, we have a close relationship with Israel. So I think it puts us in this very, precarious situation of being able to uh, be that objective third party. However, on the other hand, maybe objectivity should be tossed aside. Maybe it should be in our interest to bring together two parties that we actually want to have peaceful and that we actually want to have stable uh, in a Middle East that it's in our interests to grow more stable. Even if it's in our greedy interest to have, you know, a, a more stabilized Middle East for oil and energy uh, uh, futures. But um, something needs to happen, and it's unfortunate, uh, like I said in the beginning, it's unfortunate that both sides really, I, I don't think, have an interest in listening to each other anymore. I just think it's business as usual, uh, emotions as usual, and, you know, hopefully, I want to be wrong. Hopefully they'll, they'll, uh, hopefully they'll get to the table at some point and really seriously want to resolve their problems. The, uh, the solution to the problem may well lie in uh, changes in the religious demography. You know, so the more people that become less fanatic or less fundamentalist in the two um, uh, um, cultures, the better probably it is for the, um, the area. I think the people over there need to respect each other and work something out. But as a Christian, I also believe that God gave Israel as the to the Jewish people because it was the chosen land. So we need to hold true to our faith, but that doesn't mean that we disrespect people of other faiths or the Palestinian as a people. I know that the uh, conflict is a religious battle, that uh, 
hopefully they can resolve it. Uh, just like John Lennon said in his song, imagine, imagine all the people uh, living in peace. That's what we should be. I'm Jewish, and I think the Palestinians and the Israelis need to put down their arms, sit down, and negotiate. They need to work real hard. Go in a room, close the doors, and see what they can come up with. The little I know about it, it's a, a terrible situation, and been a terrible situation for a long time. The uh, Palestinian-Israeli situation has been going on now for quite some time, over 70 years. And uh, there's no resolution to it, and I think that the reason for that is that the powers that be want to keep the situation inflamed and uh, they'd rather not have a solution because it serves the global agenda, the globalist agenda. To me, I think that war is silly. I mean, it's risking lives and it's, it's not making anything any better. It's not getting towards any solution in a civil manner. I mean, I feel like you can just, if you just people could just talk to one another, you know, we're all here for the same reasons, to live life, and re regardless there are different opinions and there are different views, but if you can just learn to get along with everybody, I feel like that's what, that's the conclusion, that's the solution that we all need to come to, not just within other people, but within ourselves. I believe for there to be uh, peace between Israel and Palestine, uh, Israel is going to have to recognize the Palestinian state. It's uh, What's happening over there is absolutely tragic. There seems to be no... Human life has a very low cost, and it's just every time you turn on the TV, you're reminded of it. I have to see this. I'm reminded every day. Low priority for human life. It's disgusting. I can't believe this is going on. I think the... Uh Palestinian people should have a country of their own, just like every other people. Um, I, I don't agree with all the repression Israeli puts on them. Well, what's going on over there is, is a tragedy, and they're treating these people as if they're animals, and they're just fighting for the rights to survive and live a good life and it's revolting and every time I turn on the news it breaks my heart to see these poor people dealing with this situation. It's, it's terrible. Unfortunately I don't think the Palestinian-Israeli conflict will ever end and until that's settled there's never going to be peace in the world. I think that Israel is a democratic country and a sovereign country and that the Palestinians want nothing more than its uh, complete destruction. My concern is that the Arabs still haven't learned to govern themselves. As you see from Israel today, uh, we have multiple factions taking over. You see in Yemen, you see the president resigns, uh, which is going to lead to the same sort of thing that they had in Palestine back in the 40s, 50s, and even before. You know, these people might take another, uh, Arabs might take another 100 years before they learn to govern themselves. So, you know, I, that's my concern about uh, the Palestine-Israeli situation because the Israelis do bring stability, government, social systems and other things to an area that otherwise would not have them. Yes, uh, I'm Jewish and uh, I think as far as the Palestinian-Israeli conflict is concerned, it's, 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 been, uh, it's been going on for quite a while. I think it's, there are no innocents in it. Um, I, I think that uh, both sides have to kind of come together and, and try to resolve things. Uh, everyone is, uh, deserves to live in peace and, and do what they want to do. And uh, just hope that uh, that happens sometime. It's a silly way for adults to act. Okay, uh, the Palestinian-Israeli uh, situation, I believe that the Palestinians are people that have been there for eons. I believe that they deserve and should have their own state, should have free movement amongst, around their area. And that's what I believe. And Israel also has a place there. They're there, they're not going away. And they need to get along and I think they have to do it separately, with not Israel necessarily in control of the whole area. 
Yes, I really don't know enough about it to comment uh, intelligently. Um, I know it's a problem and a big issue we'll have to deal with, but uh, that's about all I, I really can say about it. I don't know a whole lot about the situation, but what I do know is that both the Jews and the Palestinians are fighting over the same territory, both claiming that they have ownership and never coming to any resolution. Well, you know, I think it's a pretty muddy situation over there. I think muddy and oil. <laughs> and I think a lot of everything in the Middle East has to do with oil. And uh, I wish I could say it was anything different, but I think that is mainly the, is what's going on down there. And our presence there, I think, really is about having our place in the Middle East just to kind of keep things, keep our foot in the door. The way I see it is, is that Israel right now needs to be held accountable for their illegal occupation of Palestine. These, the human rights violations that are occurring, these issues of racism, segregation, apartheid, words that Americans and Israelis don't want to hear, they are here, and I am saying them. People around the world are saying them, and it is time for government officials and Israeli leaders to start listening. We will not turn a blind eye to these horrific events, and we will give Palestinians a voice here on U.S. soil. We are in solidarity with Palestinians around the world as we fight for justice, fight for freedom, fight for equality, fight for all these things that is the foundation, supposed foundation of this country.